Fun Fishing is brought to you by Vance's Tackle and by Rainbow Plastics, available at your local tackle store. Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried out fishing? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fun Fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, oh. fish on! <laughs> Fish can is fun, but catching fish is funner. Oh, when fish trying to attack with the spring of summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. You gotta be kidding me. Fish on. Alright. Let's go fishing! Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Welcome to Fun Fishing. I'm Warren Trumbly. Hi, I'm Alan Fong. We're up here at New Malonis Reservoir. And we're gonna show you folks how to catch kokanee. Kokanee, huh? Yeah, kokanee. Right. <laughs> I can catch them too. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. And how are we going to be fishing for kokanee? Uh, we'll be trawling and mm -hmm. we're going to be using downrigger, so we're going to be doing a lot of illustrating today okay. on uh, different techniques how to catch them. And we're going to use like different kind of lures, bugs, spoons, all Bu kinds of bugs? stuff. Bugs? Bugs, yeah. Do you know, I live go... bugs. <laughs> Do I have to go catch the bugs? <laughs> yep. Oh, gosh. Go ahead. You, you know, go over there on the bank, go get some bugs. I'll pick you up later. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go fishing. Let's go. Okay. We'll do is we'll, we'll just run one first. Okay. Um, swing the boom out. We know we got swivels on these. These are electric okay. downriggers. Swing that boom out straight. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll just release one line. And these clips, they just... Those are the release clips. Okay. Um, you should have one on the ball. That one there is for stacking. Okay. So let me... And it just snaps right on, doesn't it? And what it? you're going to do is... You let out about 30 feet of line and then clip it into the okay you got your corn on got my corn on to the bug and then the uh, dodger dodger okay let out about 30 feet you got a line counter on your reel so it's kind of easy you can just let it out mm-hmm okay so we hardly put it in hardly put it in okay and we're marking all the fish around 30 feet so maybe drop it down about 30 feet okay dodger really makes that line jump Yep. And it, I'm set at zero here on the downrigger. Yep. Warren, once you're down, are you set okay. at 30? I'm set at 30 feet. Go ahead and put it in the rod holder. Okay. And see the parabolical bend in the rod? Uh-huh. That's for you load it up and then when the fish hit it, You'll pop off the clip and you don't have to set the hook. The rod does all the work for you. So the rod sets the hook itself? Yep, so all you do is reel it in. Oh. That's why it's good to have a real parabolical, real soft rod okay. for kokanee fish. All right, well then I should have a fish now. You should. Oh! You get that jump? Get the net. Get the net? You need a net? Oh. Oh man. <laughs> I didn't get I a did that, in netting. I did that like a bass. Did you see that? There's a kokanee. <laughs> and you know what? This is like the bass. Oh <laughs> shoot. You're all slimy, Alan. It's got Warren's name on him. <laughs> Got it? Got it. 
punk? Yeah. There we go. He took that one. You got him on the bug? You got him on the bug. The copper. You told me how to get to go out and get those bugs. You got a fish. Ooh, All right. Fish on. All right. It's a locker. He's so big. How big is he? Oh, he's a locker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get you, that? You believe that? <laughs> Fish like go and I bit it. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... <laughs> you know that smelly stuff you put on there? It tastes terrible. <laughs> You see that? that he lost that, that fish came off right there and the lure hit him in the head. <laughs> the mouth. It literally got me in the mouth. <laughs> you got nice another one, Alan? Yeah. <laughs> well, you bring, good at this kokanee fish. I know. Well, while you bring that in, let's go to commercial break, All right. okay? All right. And we come back, we'll see how big this fish really is. We'll be back right. with more fun fishing. A hog. All Get right. the net. Get the net. There we All go. Right. Yeah. Look at that. Nice one. Hold it. Isn't that a neat looking fish, huh? Nice kokanee. Wow. Alan, you're gonna have to explain about this hot bait because you're the only one that's catching fish. Yeah, so here we go. Okay. Finally got them out. Okay, and we're fishing for kokanee. Uh, kokanee. And kokanee yeah. are? They're a uh, trout family, landlocked salmon family. Okay. And uh, and how big do these, these fish um, get? Over here we're at today, they. New Malonis, um, every leg varies. Here they're pretty good size, so they run about two pounds. Okay, and, and these are, are these are native fish to the lake? Uh, no, they're actually all plants. All kokanees are plants, so oh, okay. they're all put in here. Okay, and, and we're using pretty light tackle with the uh, downriggers. Mm -hmm. and the purpose of the downriggers? Uh, control depth, so your lure is right there where the fish are. Okay, so this takes the, the lure down to that depth. Correct. And we, just, depth. we just tie the lure onto the, the downrigger? Or? Mm, yeah, they're on these little clips. They're actually called line releases. Okay. And your line will actually clip into here, and then when mm -hmm. the fish hits it, it pops free. Okay. And so, and, and then we're using these different... Uh, different uh, types of tractors. When they're okay. fishing for these kind of fish, they use uh, like dodgers. Uh-huh. And, um, and that's a dodger? Uh-huh. It's okay. a dodger. It actually makes your bait move around. Then I guess they use these type of things too. Yeah, those are flashers. This is okay. another form of tractors, but those just spin mm -hmm. rather than actually these make your lures dart around. Yeah. Now, none of those had hooks on them, but we're using stuff like... Yeah, so, kokanee bugs. Like, uh, uh, kokanee little bugs? Those are uh, uh, little spoons. Okay. That's supposed to be the hot one. Okay, okay well, <laughs> it can't be too hot. It's out of the water right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and then... We're snacking. Yeah, that's, you gotta put corn on. Kokanee, you gotta put corn on your hook. Okay. And the best one is the Jolly Green Giant, and it has to be shoe peg. Now we've talked about it, we've got our lines in the water. Let's um, see if we can catch some. Catch a fish. All right. Let's catch a fish. Hey, look at that, Alan. You got one? Yeah. Hey, Warren, got a fish. On, on my rod this time. On your own pole? Yeah. Woohoo! Oh. I'll get him. Oh, <laughs> I told you oh, you were oh, look at, oh, There he is, look, he's... Yeah. Hey, Alan, I got another fish. You do? Yeah. Got him? Yeah. That's a nice fish. That's a good one. Get mine out of the way. I don't want you to lose them and blame me. Again? <laughs> yeah. You're not going to knock this one off, Again, are you? that's what I mean. <laughs> oh. Take it easy. He's a jumper. I got him. <laughs> That's what happened the last time. I got him. I'm going to give you a hand to get him. <laughs> I got him. Okay, get him, Alan. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> did you see that? He jinxed oh, me. Man. He did it again. Oh, don't blame he me. He did it again. You tried to horse him again. Did oh, it again. Man. Man. Blame me. <laughs> Do you see that? He's a rookie. Boy. I tell you. I tell you. Every time I go to bring in, he whacks at him and scares him off. You know, 
Today I put on kind of like a goofy thing. Earlier in the day, you were getting all the fish. Yeah, I was getting them on these little bugs. Yeah, that bug was hot earlier in the day, but later on I went to a Gitsit, which is actually like a, a little crappie lure. Uh huh. And I ran a double hook in that, and um, I started getting them every time we turned around. It, Boom, it, I'd get one. Is this your last one? <laughs> <laughs> No, I, you know me, I got hundreds. Yeah, I know. And this is another type, it's actually a, what they call a hoochie. Uh -huh. And the other one I showed you was a gitsit. Okay. And basically they're going to move the same way and you have to use these behind a dodger. Okay. And, and this, this is a dodger. That's a dodger. Now we took this one off because all those, this was working earlier. Uh -huh. They went to more of a silvery, The silver color. started to work. Yeah, which is more of a brighter okay. color. Okay. And this, this is a, a sling blade as opposed to a dodger. Correct. Okay. That was a set dodger, a sling blade. They do the same thing. Fish mm -hmm. on. Fish on. Oh, Aw, man. Do you believe that? Another one bites the... The other thing is when you're bringing these in, if you try to bring them in out of the wake, uh -huh. they'll probably land more. Okay. Then if you put it right behind the motors like we were this morning, mm -hmm. we we're losing them all. Okay. They're eating this gets it really good. They're getting both hooks, aren't they? Yep. Let's take, take a look at that gets it so everybody can see exactly how it's rigged up. Okay. okay. So this is a rainbow type sling blade. It's silver on the back. Mm -hmm. And okay. it's uh, got the watermelon pattern on the front. Mm -hmm. And that's just a gets it. That, that's a crappie yeah. lure. Huh. And you put the corn on this. All these we put corn on, don't yeah, we? Yeah, you got to put corn on. And you put them on which which hook? You have two hooks here. Yeah, you put it on the upper hook. The upper hook. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, uh, thought I had me a bit. Yeah, well, almost. Well, now I haven't had a chance to even get my line out. <laughs> What's going on here? Hey, Warren. Yeah? <laughs> I took my glasses off three times other night. Yeah? Bam! I got another. Oh man. Oh, oh, baby. That man. Now I've got to go get the net. Where's my net man? Nice one. I know, it's another nice one. I'm going to let you net your own fish from now on. I haven't had a chance to get my line in the water. Oh, this is getting too easy. Too easy? Yeah. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's too easy. Earlier today, couldn't catch the cold. <laughs> well, yeah, but today, it's catching all the fish. It took me a little while to warm up. Yeah, I, I know. I guess you had to wait for the temperature to come up, huh? Yeah. You got to <laughs> watch out for me. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm going to get my line in the water now. Okay, hurry up. They're biting like crazy. As soon as I put it in, I get one. He's way back there. Lift up now, easy. Lift up. Nice, good. Hey Warren, I got a bite. Got a bite? It? Yeah, see it? Is that... Oh, fish on. Hey. Are you putting out? I'm trying to. <laughs> Ooh, taking out drag. Ooh. Get a good fish? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Warren, I'll nip my own. Keep fishing. Bring him in the current here. Oh, oh, you're trying to net him off. Did you see what he did? Oh, he wouldn't come net. off. I knocked him <laughs> really hard. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Warren, you got some catching up to do. I got a lot of catching up <laughs> to do. Uh, well, let's take a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> what for? So you can get a line back in the water and catch a fish. There Nothing's happening with my rod. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Thank you. You see this? Did you it's see this? It's a mercy fish. I'm so oh, nice. He, oh, he got away. <laughs> he better. He got enough. away. <laughs> hey, you got one? Get your rod. Oh, you got one. Oh, oh double. <laughs> you got him? No. You lost him? I lost him. Well, it's not your day today. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You hear pop? 
Here. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> from, from a single to a double to a single. <laughs> oh, a nice one, too. Oh! What are you trying to do, lose it? <laughs> My own. <laughs> you seen him come up and tap it. Mm -hmm. and he, these are nice ones, too. Yeah. See another fish, Alan? Yeah, got another one. Oh, look, he's splashing back there. Look at that, he's jumping. I'm gonna land him now. I'm not gonna... You're gonna land him? <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll get the net on this one. There we go. All right. Another kokanee, Alan. Yep, yeah, caught him on the goofy one again. Hey, Alan, you were talking about a hot boat. Your yeah, hot boat is where your cables are giving off a negative field. Okay. So it's like, you know, the fish will come up to your bait and they'll just go around because it's giving a charge. Kind of like someone's trying to shock you. Spark them on the nose, like where you Yeah, you know your you hands walk on, on a carpet or something and you go like that. You reach over and touch somebody on the nose and you yeah. zap. Yeah, that same thing okay. happens in this fishing and a lot mm -hmm. of the fish will go away from your bait. They won't actually go to it. But okay. the easiest way is just to check it. Okay. And all you need is a digital meter, okay. bolt meter. This is an aluminum boat, you need to ground it. And the best way is probably ground the negative to your battery, okay. to your boat, and mm -hmm. then touch the cable with the positive side. Okay. But since this is an aluminum boat, I can mm -hmm. just touch it right here on the ground on the aluminum. Okay. I'm grounding it, and all I do is touch the cable. Okay. And what's it say? 0 0.55. 0 0.55. It's a, a plus. Half a volt. That is perfect. Okay. So if it said negative, if you had a negative here, uh -huh. then you have to get that corrected. Okay. Now you, you have the red to that line there and positive and, and then negative. Okay. And I'm negative just grounding to it to the boat, but okay. ground it to your battery. Okay. So it's real simple to check. Okay. And the correction would be to go buy a box. They have these boxes you could put on there mm -hmm. and you adjust it and you would reverse the field. Okay. Into a positive field. But mm -hmm. Very important. That's really okay. a, one of the most asked questions is how do I know if I got a hot boat? Okay. We just showed them how to check it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks to Cope McFeed, or they give us a boat that's got yeah. the positive to yeah. it. So. Well, see this Mag 10 here? Yes. They have a circuit board in here that changes it for you. That's why it oh, says really? positive ion control. Really? So this downrigger, okay. it senses if it has a negative charge and reverses it. Wow, okay. But it's always good to check anyway, okay. no matter what, you need okay. to check it. And these are pr pretty neat downriggers, they're electric and they... Uh, these have auto stop, they stop They come up, they, they stop right when they get to the top. Yeah. So it doesn't wind around and yep. bust something. Okay. And you know, people will come in the store and say, hey, uh, do I need a manual or electric? Do you have a remote control at home? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get up and turn my TV exactly. on, click, click, click. Exactly. Oh, look at that. Nice fit. Come well, on the back deck and netting for me. Oh, look at him, he's gonna jump. You'll lose him. You won't get him. <laughs> okay. I think this is being my limit. Here we go. Oh, missed him. Ow! Aren't you glad I'm good? <laughs> huh? <laughs> my line broke, finally. <laughs> but I need that hook. Look at that. Well, another good fish. Another nice Coke. Well, Alan, you caught a lot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as every week. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, one well, of I did days. have a good day. Well, let's go over and wrap up here real quickly before we end the show today and, and talk real quickly about the equipment and what we're using. and why and how. Yep. So I think the tackle on the rods is mm -hmm. real important that you have a real parabolical bent rod mm -hmm. so that it bends all the way through the rod. So you, you can really see, see how it bends. Oh, snap. Real light, <laughs> you know the line rating is going to be anywhere from two to eight pound test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these aren't supposed to spin around like this. No, are they? they flop. They're, they're, they just kind of go back and forth. They flip flop. Okay. And all they okay. do is they take that lure and swing it around like this. And they just make this thing jump back and Correct. forth. Now, if okay. your lure's not swaying like this, then you gotta shorten your leader. Okay. You gotta put corn on. Corn you on know, it? We're using this new uh, Polsky's corn Yeah, the Polsky's corn. Here. corn. Yeah. And, and or also... The, uh, you can use a shoe peg shoe corn. Peg. Shoe peg corn. Okay. Another yeah, thing from, that we taught our viewers today is a positive ion on your downrigger. Yes. How to run it, mm -hmm. you know, how to add a clip. Mm -hmm. These clips, when you put your line in it, it's very important that you don't put it in more than like halfway. Otherwise, you'll see the rod going like that and 
it won't pop they, loose. They don't pop loose. Mm -hmm. So, you know, keep it real yeah. close to the end. Well, Alan, we caught quite a few fish today, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. We're up here at New Malone's. We caught a lot of kokanee. A lot of kokanee. Yeah. And nice size ones. The biggest look like around 16, 17 inch. Yeah, it looks like we'll have fish for dinner. Yeah, fish for dinner. <laughs> yeah, and we hope you learned a lot about uh, fishing for kokanee uh, using downriggers today. Yeah, we told you a lot. There's mm -hmm. some things that you need to check and you should be able to go out and catch them. Yep. So come back and join us next week on Fun Fun Fishing. fishing. Fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan help yeah. you. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day and he fell out of the boat. He couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. Okay. That trim button right here. Right here. Trim it up. There you go. Climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now, if wow. you could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> Use your motor, trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan, wait for me! Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.